So hello everyone, I hope we're all doing exceptionally well. I do apologise for the lack of lighting, I do understand it's very very dark, but it does kind of fit in with today's review. So they are a band from Mumbai and they started off as a one-man project by the man called Sahil who um, is might be slightly better known as um, the Lord of the Metal Kitchen, um, he is also known as, he is like a metal chef over in India, um, he's also a member of Demon Stealer. So, very, very well known in India, becoming more and more well known over here. Um, he played with Demon Stealer at Bloodstock Open Air in the UK here last year. Um, so anyway, moving on with Reptilian Death, they began way, 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 way back in 2001, which was over a decade ago, which is a little bit scary. And, um, and there's been a few ups and downs along the way, but they are now set to release The Dawn of Consumption and Emergence, which is coming out very soon on October the 10th. So I have to say, it is definitely going to blow you away. <laughs> So there's a lot here to cater to a really wide range of metal interests, I have to say, but what I like is the real old school feel about this. Think bands like Morbid Angel, Suffocation, Death, Incantation, um, the list goes on and on, but basically in short, it's old school death metal and there's no kind of guttural slamming vocals or pig squeals, there's none of that. Um, the production has kind of matched their old school vibe, I don't know if that was intended and it has quite a muddy feel to it. Um, it's a little bit of a shame because it does kind of mask the musicianship but I certainly don't think it detracts from the goodness at all that is kind of, you know, obviously within the album. Um, but anyway, to break down, you know, a few tracks, um, first up, one that's been doing the rounds is O. It's got a real black metal edge, if you've not heard it yet, um, but it still kind of retains that, you know, that suffocation sort of blast beat style. Um, there's a lot of spoken word parts on this track, and it did make me think of Lamb of God, which obviously Lamb of God, suffocation. There is <laughs> quite a bit in between. So you can see what I mean when I say, you know, it does cater to quite a wide range. It's not just it I mean essentially they are a death metal band it's a death metal sound but there's a kind of a lot of other influences and a lot of other interests I think that you can draw from this album um, there's also a real black metal edge to it and I think that's where the old school style comes into it and there's some of the vocals are real kind of um, I don't want to say Black Dahlia Murder I don't want to just sit here and list a load of bands it sounds like because I don't think it really does sound identical to any other band. I'm just trying to build up a picture for you. Um, so it's got that kind of like high scream black metal vocals and um, it does give it, it gives it a lot of variety. It, it sounds really cool. Um, but I found myself getting into tracks that came later on the album. Marvelous, Mar Marvelous Gods is one that um, it's got some crazy blasting mixed in with some guitar riffs that you can really sink your teeth into. Um, there's obviously a lot of changes, it sort of like just changes straight up and switches to this furious upbeat tempo, but it's not really sporadic um, with a lot of extreme bands that kind of flips and jumps about everywhere. This, it's really, it's got a real sort of natural, organic, without sounding too hippie-ish, real kind of natural switch and a flow to it. It doesn't feel forced, they're not trying to throw in, you know, and show off anything and show off their talents, but you know, it's just kind of a real natural progression and you can feel it coming and you get that on the whole album. There's no surprises or shocks and I like that, you know, it's something that you can really get into without kind of being sort of jumped and surprised about. It's just something that you can sit and listen to and enjoy and there's not 
it's not one of those albums that you really have to listen to about three or four times to really start to get into. It's one that from the get-go you can get into it and listen to it. Um, so another one I think of my favourite tracks is going to be Emergence, The World Your Playground. It's an absolute belter with this fantastic grind riff that just completely appears from nowhere. I totally loved it. Um, in fact, I think the last two tracks are probably definitely the, my highlight, my favourite tracks from the album. So definitely two to check out as a recommendation from me. So anyway, like I said, it's a very old school death metal and I think what cinches this is definitely the lyrics which are just in true gory, offensive death metal fashion, which is how you want it, isn't it? If you're going to listen to death metal, you know, you, you want to be offended. You want it gory and as disgusting as it can be. It's probably not as disgusting as maybe some of the other more slammy death metal bands, um, you know, but there is still that kind of that. I like to think of it as quite comedic. I know a lot of bands who write these lyrics and they find it absolutely hilarious to come up with these, with these, you know, um, these vocals and these lyrics. So, um, yeah, so I, I hope it's, well, I hope this is no comedic value. Anyway, but, um, but yeah, so really, really good. And, um, and the artwork as well is absolutely beautiful. I actually want a print of this for my living room. I'm going to put a little picture of it in the corner down here somewhere. Um, but no, absolutely stunning, true sort of sci-fi gothic style um, artwork. And it's been designed by a gentleman called Michael Zay Lorank. I hope I've pronounced that correctly. Um, but it kind of fits in quite well with the opening track, Prime Evil. Um, I haven't been able to find out any kind of sort of concept on the album. I don't know if I've really missed out on something or not. Um, however, on the whole, you know, um, I think that opening track really kind of ties in well um, with the artwork. To conclude and sum up very quickly, um, basically this album is an absolute belter. <laughs> it's, it seems to be a long time coming for sort of an official release for this album, especially over here. And, um, and to be quite honest, I'm going to be playing this album non-stop. I absolutely love it. I'm not just saying that because, you know, Sahil is a top man and, um, and, and I'm reviewing the album so I feel I have to say nice things because I'm yet to do a bad review. Um, but no, I'm literally just saying it because it's true. It's a fantastic, great old school album and I really want you guys to check it out. So please, if you do check it out, leave your comments below and let's avoid a bitching session and just sit back and enjoy this album. So October the 10th, it's coming out by Reptilian Death, The Dawn of Consumption and Emerges. Guys, you have to check this out.